One Joe for jazbeeshobbyland.com. 2017 Panini Illusions Football 8 box inner case break number 6. Pick your team number 6. And with some superb owl squares being given away at the end of this break. Big thanks to these folks for getting into the action on the 24th, Wednesday, a beautiful Wednesday. Ronald with the last spot mojo bears. And there's everyone else. Good luck. So at the very end, I'll randomize all these names. And one person will get four superb owl squares. Our squares promo is back on jazbeeshobbyland.com. All the details are on the website, too, so check it out. All right, so there's our case of illusions. Remember, I marked this pick your team six so we know it's from the same master case. I've got another uh, inner case available right now on jazbeeshobbyland.com from a fresh master case and the same superb owl square promo as well. Now, after this break, I don't think anything else is filled up. So, yeah, Jason K wants to do preferred. More superb owl squares being given away there. And I saw a lot of spots flying in uh, Flawless Baseball, our last two briefcases of Flawless Baseball. But in the meantime, let's get this one knocked out. Good luck, everybody. I think we... I, I feel like there, we had a little bit of a slow start with Illusions. And then people warmed up to it, and we started moving a lot of breaks, and then it cooled off again. But now we're I feel like we're warming up again with this, which kind of tells me that people kind of like Illusions. I like it too. It's, a, it's, a, it's different. I like that. All right. Good luck, everybody. These box toppers, of course, are more like box bottomers. There they are. Good luck, everybody. Once again, pick your team six. The next one is in the store right now on jazbeeshobbyland.com. We actually saw some, uh, some teams move in there, too. All right. There's nice Marshawn Lattimore. And we've got Trent Taylor. Rookie endorsements, 10 out of 25. Nice low number for the Niners. And Sam Roll. Nice one, Sam. We've got Jersey Auto. Samaj P. Ryan. For the Redskins. Nice first impressions autograph for Steel Kurt Michael Gallucci. A Brian Erlocker. Clear shots. We've got Joe Montana, Len Dawson. We'll do a uh, randomizer for these numbers cards here. Do a left-right randomizer on that. Got Aaron Rodgers. Illusionists. And we've got Return of the Mac, Marlin Mac. What is that? 93 out of 100. Two-color patch for the Colts. That'll be for Michael Gallucci and the Colts. He's got a couple hits out of this box. And we've got Gerald Everett uh, out of 250, 43 out of 250 for the Rams. The Ramley goes to Adam Kupperman. And the, I almost said St. Louis, the Los Angeles Rams. They're here now. Adam Vinteri, Living Legends. And the relic is for the Falcons. Julio Jones for the Atlanta Falcons. Derek P with the Dirty Birds. All right, and your box bottomer.
And it's Tom Brady, 23 out of 100. That's, this is this is what I'm hoping for. I'm hope, I'm hoping for 23 pass attempts for only 100 yards in the Super Bowl. Karen, uh, that's her Patriots. Karen, aren't you aren't you tired of seeing your Patriots win all the time? <laughs> She's probably not. I don't think any of the Patriots fans are tired of it. All right, next box. Good luck, everyone. Who does everyone have in the Super Bowl? No, oh, it's kind of early to start really locking down your, your scores and everything. The boss man, Mike Jasperson, and of course, Nick Jaspi. Big Eagles fans. Boss man talking, uh, talking Eagles winning by two touchdowns. All right. Next box. Sean Lee. Any guesses on this redemption right here? Oh, wow, look at this. One out of ten. We've got Mike Williams on the left side and Calvin Johnson with an S right here. It must be the Lions S on the right side. That's pretty cool. Um, I'm sorry, what is, what is ODD, Michael? What, what does that stand for? So this will be a randomizer at the end. Uh, I think Timberlake, Mike Tower, Justin Timberlake is um, uh, Timberlake is doing the halftime show. Oh, oh, oh! I see, I see, I see. So you're 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 doing final score odd, literally odd numbers, twenty four, twenty one. Got it. Okay, okay, I see, I see. There's Zay Jones. And there's Eric Berry, Living Legends. Is that numbered? No, it's not. Uh, EA is saying... EA is saying uh, that the Patriots come back again in the second half. Right, 24 plus 21 equals the 40 flat. All right, that's that's an interesting way of putting a little dollar dollar bills on it. 19 out of 150. Marcus May, what what did you get on that? Like what's the what's the money line on that? Plus you No, know, it's got to be like minus 110 or something. 19 out of 50. We got first impressions Taiwan Taylor. That's for the Titans. That goes to the DVD. First Impressions Relic. Oh, so it's minus 110 or minus 115. That's what I thought. That sounds about right. And a dual autograph. And they're both Bears. Jordan Howard, Tariq Cohen. 8 out of 15. Lightning and the thunder. That goes to the Chicago Bears. Last spot mojo. Ronald held. Last spot mojo strikes again. They were just sitting there. Bears were just sitting there for the taking. There it is. Actually, I already have one of these out there. I can set that away. All right. The redemption is, there you go. I was like, you know who doesn't sign, like to sign his cards? How on Taylor doesn't like to sign his cards? First impressions, memorabilia, autograph for the DVD and the Titans. Nice. Yeah, 
And my tower, in case you were wondering, the the rumors are that it's Justin Timberlake with an with a uh, in sync reunion, kind of like what Beyonce did with Destiny's Child not too long ago. So just letting you know, no Janet Jackson apparently, not yet. Oh, you're welcome, Dustin. You are welcome. Thanks for getting in. All right, the encased card is Grr, Todd Gurley, 24 out of 25. Marshall Fogg, yeah, I, I guess you could say that. It's actually not a bad comparison. That goes to the Rams. That goes to Adam Kupperman. All right, next box. Brian is saying that pa uh, Patriots lose by interception, 27 to 30. I feel like I want to keep saying that's a it's going to be a lower scoring game. Is that right, Brian? Is that true? Someone double, someone fact check, Brian. I feel like he just he just he just stumbles upon this stuff on the internet, and it's not true. Is that true? Really? Brian is saying, now this, again, this has not been corroborated, but that when Alabama wins the title, Patriots lose. But if Alabama loses, the Patriots win. It is true. Now, York is also saying it's true. Sub Josh. Saban and Belichick have never won a title in the same season? Huh. Also, fly eagles fly. <laughs> All right, great. I'm, I'm, I'm putting paychecks on the Eagles. Ah, look, see? Carson what Now they're definitely going to win. First impressions, Jersey and Auto, C.J. Beathard. I'm not putting my paycheck on the Eagles. This is all just for fun, folks. For inter entertainment purposes only when we talk about this sort of thing. There you go, Niners. Uh, Niners will be Sam Roll with the Niners. Michael saying it'll be 24-21, just like in 2004. Points, we'll randomize that to one person as a lot if there's more than one bit of points. And a dual relic right here. Emmett Smith, Ezekiel Elliott, 19 out of 25. That's a cool one for the Cowboys. Trevor Hardway. There you go, Trev. And that new guy mojo in there. There you go. So the Emmett Smith is game-worn material, player-worn material for Elliott. That's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, Mike Tower, we're working on it right now. The the Jaspies will have a commercial during the Super Bowl. That's what we've been saving up for. That's why we, everyone needs to buy Flawless right now. We can start paying for that commercial. Geronimo! 88 out of 100. Elusive Ink autograph. Uh, do I have any opinion on the Pats' one penalty in the AFC title game? Yeah, that seemed a little odd, right? I mean, I guess, I guess it seems odd on the outside. Eight out of ten, Amara Darbo, Larry Fitzgerald, another randomizer. But I mean, at home, do they usually get like? I mean, how often do they get penalized in the first place? Maybe they only get like, you know, traditionally only three or four penalties a game. Maybe they're just a clean team, you know. So then one wouldn't sound so crazy. But if they usually get like, you know. 15 penalties a game or something crazy like that, and then they only get one, then I'm just like, yeah, that's suspicious.
Upside down, Carson Wentz. No, right side up. Wentz and Jaws. 64 out of 100 for the Eagles. That goes to William. All right, next one. Claw Ninja, Bowman's best 15 and 16 happened yesterday. Oh, that would be now, now you're now you're just you're feeding into my deepest fantasies, Mike Tower. Patriots losing on a fumble with the tuck rule going the other way. I think they got rid of the tuck rule though, like a number of years later. But if they brought it back just for this game, I would like to see them get their comeuppance. That would be a classic comeuppance. Uh, well, so a beat writer from another team went back and watched play-by-play -play and counted six hold. Well, there's always holding. It depends. I want I want a ref to do that though. I don't want some beat writer to do that. And I need to know, like, how many. It all like it's relative. You know what I mean? I want to know how many penalties they usually get per game. Because I don't want to let my, my obvious anti-Patriots bias come through and just make wild statements. You know what I mean? What are they? Let's go. Let's look at it. Someone look it up. Go to profootballreference.com. Look up how many penalties they get a game on average. Average it out over 16 games. Then give me the home splits and the away splits. And then playoff splits in like the last five years when they're hosting. Give me all that information. Me all that information, and I'll uh, we'll talk about it. Talk about Ezekiel Elliott right here. How about this? One out of twenty, easy E. No, like a retired ref, obviously. Not like a current ref, like a someone who's like retired or something like that. Ezekiel Elliott, or they can always do it anonymous. You know, like they always have like anonymous columns from like athletes and stuff like that. Trevor Hardway. Nice Ezekiel Elliott. There's Evan Ingram for Big Blue. 24 out of 25. Two-color patch. New York football Giants. That's another one for Trevor. Look at this new guy mojo kicking in here. Ah, Steel Curtain has it. Michael Gulich saying Robert Kraft contributed heavily to Goodell's retirement fund. And that's the explanation for the one penalty. There's Obi Mellon Fonwu. 38 out of 100. Injured for a good chunk of the season, but hopefully healthy next year with Gary Ann Connolly. Uh, York saying, "So is he a prof?" I'm assuming he's a professional gambler. Then you could have just said that. <laughs> Dropping the throwing the money around, uh, but yeah, so they do. Yeah, they do follow the refs. That that is true. That I do know that 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 the that a lot of the sharps do like to track refs. So do they? Is that ref? Do they say that that ref is is um, like biased, one sided, or they know him to be one sided? Ah, yes, it's Aces High with Ace Ross scene. There's a scene in Casino, Mike Tower, that I think is absolutely the, the, the one that always cracks me up for some reason. Everyone remembers Casino, right? Uh, with, uh, why am I blanking on his name? Robert De Niro and Joe Pesci. And uh, it's, a great, it's, a, it's a great movie. Long, but it's it's pretty fantastic. Um the blueberry muffin scene, where, where Al Pacino, that's D.D. Westbrook first impressions, by the way, that's William and the Jaguars, where he opens the, 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 the blueberry muffin and goes, look at, look at your muffin. You know, he's like, that's, this is what I'm talking about. Yours has twice as much as mine does. It's pretty good. This scene always cracks me up for some reason. And 
Sharon Stone, right? Sharon Stone. Yeah, the we gotta watch it again, Mike Tower. I've watched I've watched this movie like a zillion times, and that's like one of the random scenes that I mean that that really gets me. Oh, it's, it's pretty good. We have David Johnson and Chris Johnson, the Johnson, seventy six out of one hundred, for the Cardinals. Jen, with that encased card. There you go, Jen. All right, next one. Uh, I uh, that's a good question, York. Does this product have case? I don't think so. All right, I have to talk to the card companies. There's not enough. Yeah, we need we need Ace Rothstein to like to to really to really clean up uh to really clean up all the card companies. <laughs> I, is he still no he must have he must have passed away by now but I know like I know he was he was still still was professional gambler for a is he still alive someone look that up someone look up I don't know if his actual real name was ace Rothstein but huh I wonder if he's still alive. I know he, he used to live in La Jolla for a long time, near San Diego. Um, oh. Michael McGore is asking, can you just mail me an actual Panther? I think there are a lot of a lot of uh, legal stuff that that we'd have to. We, there's a, probably be a lot more paperwork that you'd have to sign if we wanted to send you an actual Panther. 32 out of 1. Are they a protected species? Are they endangered? Are there even panthers in North Carolina? Or is there a North Carolinian panther that I could send you? If I have to go international for a panther, that might be a little difficult. I don't think that's going to happen. And that is Return of the Mac Marlin Mac. Jersey and autograph. First impressions relic auto for the Colts. Michael Gallucci. These living legends inserts, like the acetate cards, are pretty cool. And then, we, who do we have here? We have Andrew Luck. Is he going to be healthy by next season? Does he actually play football ever again? <laughs> There's Evan Ingram, first impressions. What send send? Are you saying send Michael a puma instead of a panther? Well, if he does if he does not know how to tell the difference, I could probably send him a puma. I think those are. I think we could send one of those. He'll take a puma, he says. Nice Aaron Donald. Nice fifty nine out of one fifty. That'll go to the Rams. That's for Adam Kupperman. More of an Adidas guy myself. Isn't Puma sort of uh, interchangeable with um, with like Bobcat? Or are they different? I don't know how we got on this. Okay, so True Hobby is saying that Frank Rosenthal is not alive. Yeah, I didn't think his name was... Did they call him Ace? It's Rosenthal though, yeah. Vaughn Miller, 12 out of 100. Well, Casino, great movie, folks. 
great movie. Oh, you know what? York, Josh York, I think there are case hits. Although, I don't know if it's one per case. But there, sometimes these box toppers are autographed. But I don't know if that comes one per case. Though. I don't know if that's a, if it's a classic case hit. But no, or like I have not pulled a box topper auto yet. Folks, yeah, if you are if you are over the age of 18, please feel free to rewatch or watch Casino. Great movie. The Scorsese classic. I watched uh I watched Goodfellas late uh, recently. Also, Arthur saying Puma is a mountain lion is a cougar. Fair enough. <laughs> Michael Mayor said I dated a cougar once. I guess you could say she really got her claws in you. Next box, we're gonna start off with Malachi Dupree. Eleven out of one fifty. Autograph for the Packers. That goes to John Oakray. Go pack go. Come for the break, stay for the jokes, ladies and gentlemen. That's right, I did pull a Rich Gannon. That was the last in case auto that we had. Is that one per inner or one per master case? I'll bet it's one per master case. This dual relic dual auto going to one team. Six out of ten. CJ Beathard and Joe Williams for Sam Roll and the Niners. Nice one, Sam. We got Devontae Adams relic. That's right, Brian. They are. John Okre. Oh, you were in the hills, Arthur? I see. I got David Johnson relic for the Cardinals. Jen with the cards. C.J. Beathard for Sam again. Jersey and auto. Plenty of C.J. Beathard for Sam. All right. The encased card. All right, Arthur. No worries. We'll find that. We'll find that Goldie autograph someday. I know you're getting the relics, but find an autograph someday. All right. This clown right here. And now clown has got a bruised shoulder. 86 out of 100. Brian Cushing. Does anyone remember that? William Fulmer remembers that. Where's William? I think when uh, Jadavion Clowney was at the University of South Carolina, the coach at the time, I forget his name, but I think was, was frustrated by Jadavion Clowney kind of playing, not playing. You know, and then he had other injuries at the, the press conference. You know, he was in a press scrum or something like that out after practice. Kind of pretty frustrated. And he says, like, well, now Clown has got a bruised shoulder. Always crack That sound bite always cracked me up. It's like, yeah, now Clowny does have a bruised shoulder. You keep forgetting that coach's name. When someone says that name, I'll be like, yes. I remember now. All right, two more boxes to go, folks. We're, we're actually making 
pretty good time here. We'll be done with this in about 10 minutes or so. And then I, I only see a few orders coming in, boys and girls, so we've got like at least another two hours or so to break. Oh, no, I saw it, Brian. <laughs> I just didn't choose to respond to it. I don't know if that information helps me make this show funnier. It's just like, okay. All right. Uh, oh, I'm getting a Zach Collins report. We should do more basketball tonight. Two for three for three points. And nine. All right, see, there you go. See, the rookie's playing well. Get into the basketball on jazbeeshobbyland.com. Ah, I think it was Steve Spurrier, right? Was it Spurrier? Man, I wish William Fulmer was here. He was here a little bit earlier. He's a South Carolina guy. 10 out of 50, he'd know. I, I want it, maybe it is Spurrier. Does he have an accent like the, the, the good old boy Southern accent? I want it. Uh, that's for you, Michael, by the way. Steelers. <laughs> Who was that? That was Oh, that was the bus and James Conner. Whoever the coach was that coached Davion Clowney in his final year. I feel like that's right, though. And we have, for the Steelers, 25 out of 100, Elusive Inc., Ross Cockrell. <laughs> uh, he probably got teased a lot when he was a kid. And then he's like, I'm going to become a football player. No one teases him anymore. And we've got Evan Ingram, one of the bright spots for the New York football giants. 70 out of 100, two-color patch and autograph. That goes to Trevor and the Giants. Nice one, Trevor. Trevor, new guy Trevor. Racking up some hits. We've got our Darius Stewart and Julio Jones, 46 out of 100. <laughs> what? Look at his last name. 12. What do you expect? I'm Brian's age. All right. We've got Hassan Reddick. 119 out of 250, Hassan Reddick for Jen and the Cardinals. Jen's probably rolling her eyes at me right now. They're like, Joe's 12. <laughs> oh, he's not there anymore. All right. We have Danny Amendola, 20 out of 50, and Dion Branch. Sorry, 13. Um, Danny Playoff, I guess is what they're calling him now. So Cockrell's with uh, the New York Football Giants. Got it. Hang out with Evan Ingram. All right, last box. Good luck, everybody. Illusions football. Some pretty solid stuff out of here. I think this is a debut release, right? I think this is the first year they're doing this. I feel like I feel like they're gonna keep doing this. I I, I could see it's it's still solid now, but I think in future years I could see this product being being uh kind of really shaping up to be a really nice one. Because I like a lot of the, the ideas that they are going with here. Like you should see, you guys should look back. And see, we've done some breaks of 2013 Spectra football. And compare that 2013 to 2014 to 2015, 16, etc. Like the changes between 2013 and to basically what, it, what the design is now, it's massive. Box, last box. No, I think it was two years. It's two years ago now, Brian. 
I think it's been two years since they replaced Topps, or maybe even three at this point. Lights Kamara in action. Alvin Kamara for the Saints. Uh, that'll go to Karen and the Saints. There's Cam, Chancellor. So we'll be randomizing. I have an example over there, those left-right cards. Rookie endorsements, Jordan Willis to 150. That'll be for Heggs and the Bengals. Deshaun Watson, he'll be back. That was Blake Bortles. Blake Bortles will probably not be back. And Jack Doyle, well, out of 150, tight end for the Colts. That'll be for Michael. Steel curtain with that one. Rogers. And a redemption. That redemption is Kareem Hunt. That's a way to end it. First impressions, memorabilia, autographs, blue. What's the, what are the Blues number two? Who has the Chiefs Royal for speed at the very, very end? Oh, there's the encased card too. But I don't think I called your number all break. All break. So that Kareem Hunt is there. Illusions football. First impressions, blue. Blue is out of is out of 100. So there you go. I think the other ones aren't numbered, but this one is out of 100. So keeping it 100 with the Chiefs is Ryan and Sweet Kareem's are definitely made of these. Who am I to disagree? If you've traveled the world and the seven seas, everybody is looking for something. There you go. Nice, there he is. Right, see, playing to the whistle. I like that, Ryan. Thank you. All right, when we close out with Brandon Cooks to 99. No, to 50. 41, along with Troy Brown for Karen and her Patriots. Karen, you're going to have to deal with all of the, the Eagles fandom, especially from Boss Man and Nick, over the next couple of weeks. All right, here we go. Uh, that was out of 10. We'll do that last. That was out of 10, too. So we've got two things out of 10. All right. And we're going to go by the back of the card for this. So I want I one, two, three, four, five, five. All right. We'll do the points and the uh, Super Bowl squares in the same list, too. All right. So the first one will be the left and right. The second dual relic is Jets and Falcons. The next dual relic is Chargers and Lions. That had the nice S patch for Calvin Johnson. Next one is Amara Darbo Seahawks. Can't spell Seahawks. And who's on the other side? Oh, Larry Fitzgerald for the Cardinals. And then everybody has a chance from Jen down to Michael. Everyone has a chance at the uh, name on top will be the Super Bowl squares. The second name as a constellation will be the 150 points that came out of there. All with the same dice roll. Good luck, everybody. And four and a one, five times for all the lists. And remember, we've got another uh, inner case break of Illusions Football on jazbeeshobbyland.com right now. With the same Super Bowl squares promo attached to it, that's the first inner of a fresh master case. So get into it. Four at jazbeeshobbyland.com. Four and a one, five times for everything. Left and right, one, two, three, four, and a one, five times. Flips to the left side. So all of the left side cards, we'll get them. We'll get these. 
Next up is the dual relic, our Darius Stewart Jets and Julio Jones Falcons, Jets Falcons. One, two, three, four, and a one, five times. Jets with that one. New York Jets, 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 Derek P. With the 46 out of 100, two color dual relic. These actually look really, I like the design of this. They look really nice. All right, this was pretty cool. This is out of 10. One out of 10, Mike Williams for the Chargers and Calvin Johnson for the uh, Lions. Four and a one. One, two, three, four, and a one. Five times. Stays with the Detroit Lions. Michael Gallucci with that one. One out of ten. Dual relic. Nice. And the last one here. That is eight out of ten. Mara Darbo and Larry Fitzgerald. Larry Fitzgerald also with an S patch. Mr. S. Four and a one. Five times. One, two, three, four, and a one. Five times. Stays with the Cardinals. Jen, that's for you. Eight out of ten. Dual relic of Mara Darbo and his idol, apparently. Rookie idols. Larry Fitzgerald. I like those new Larry Fitzgerald commercials, too. I don't know why they, they're kind of silly, but they crack me up. All right. Super Bowl squares. Good luck, everybody. Once again, four and a one. Five times. One, two, three. Four and a one. Five times after five times. The name on top. Well, the second name will get the 150 points. So that's Karen with the 150 points. And Car Karen with the Super Bowl squares. Nice. Congrats. That was cool. All right. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Done and done. Jaspieshobbyland.com is the place to be for more illusions, for more chances. Superb owl squares. The, all the details are on the promo are right there. So check it out. Thanks very much, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.